Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Normally when we do trailer reactions, it's over on Levin's channel, but today I thought it would be fun to do it on my channel. So as I mentioned, I'm joined today by Levin and we're going to be reacting to the Special Heroes Valentine's banner. That's right, we're going rogue today. I'm so sorry I've been hugging the content, but I'm glad to spread it around a little more. So uh, we already kind of know what the deal is. We saw it in the Faye channel yesterday, but I'm, I'm just stoked on Faye right now. So I can't wait to see these things and talk about them. Yeah, and I think it'll be really interesting to see the weapon effects because, like, Gustav specifically, I think he had something like 70% damage reduction on a hit or something like that, so very interested to see how they're going to work that into a weapon. Yeah, and I saw a comment where someone was saying that Alphonse's weapon was inheritable but looked like it had healing on hit and in-combat debuffs, which sounds kind of nuts, so, um, I don't know. Yeah, these, they seem really strong. They seem really strong from what we've seen, so... Yeah. I guess let's just jump right into it. Oh, you see they changed the introduction, like the they added the gears, like Book 5 theme. That's new, right? That looked new. It looks very new and I like how it looks. It's cool, yeah. Majestic Love. Interesting. Bold title. That axe would break the second you hit someone with it. It just really bothers me. <laughs> All right, so he switched places with Alphonse or whatever? Okay, oh, wow. Oh, wait, that's a C skill? It's not the weapon? What? Wait, and what? And it looks inheritable. I guess we'll see what that's all about. Yeah, it had a three, so it's definitely inheritable, whatever it is. Yeah. Why are they like Aww. CRT? What, what's going on with this? They have scan lines on them. They kind of do, yeah. Oh, red mage armor. Oh, that she's also rare. in armor. Wow. Oh, she has another thing where she swaps places? Oh my. I guess so. Interesting. Looks like it's an AR skill. I am holding back. I think it... It might have been attack res. Oh. Oh, you're probably right. Why are they like holograms? This is so weird. This festival brought my mother and father together. Oh, he's also in armor. Okay, so I think... Yeah, he's the four-star focus. That's it. Bold Fighter as a four-star is kind of insane. It is. It's really nice of them to do that. Also, it's kind of wild that, like... Me now? I guess this is the new Oops All Armors banner? Christmas was a misdirect? I guess so. Oh, but not them. Well, they're, they're horses, yeah. Horsey. Strange. Oh, I love their art so much. Yeah, they look really cool. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> that weapon. Ooh, okay, I could not read even half the text, but I saw if unit is in three spaces of an ally, and that sounds kind of nice. That's very easy to trigger. So it deals Whoa. damage. Looks like an area of effect damage, like just Take free it. damage. It looks like it was based on damage that's already been taken by your team, which is interesting. Oh. Okay, I didn't see that part, but we'll take a look at it after. But I'm pretty sure the weapon deals damage to your team like Leaf's original weapon did, so it's like... Oh. It's definitely good? interesting. It's interesting, yeah. We already know Veronica is the freebie. Veronica as a blue mage cavalry is kind of an unfortunate class to be in, to be honest. Oh, but if her weapon is like Alphonse's, I think it's um, in combat debuffs and healing on a hit, which is really good. I guess it's just like there's so much competition among like blue mage calves. I feel like. Well, that's why you don't run on a cab. You run it on like Iliana. Oh, I see what you're saying. Fair. Yeah, that yeah. could be really good to inherit to someone else. So let's go through and look at these skills, maybe. Yep. Let's start with Gustav. His weapon really looked like it'd be inheritable to me. It just... I, I can't get over, like... If you hit me, the human, with that in the face, I would probably be fine. It just looks weak. Okay, hear me out. Maybe it's a metal axe painted to look as, like, sticks. I don't know why anyone would do that, <laughs> but maybe. <laughs> These dwarves are getting out of hand. Alright, so he gets the accelerated special trigger, which is really nice to have. I think that's a lot stronger than that stats effect. In combat, attack and defense debuff, the, the new standard. Yep. And it's, it's like a super courtly candle? 
Uh, it looks like it. So basically, if he gets doubled, reduce his damage from their first attack by 75%. Yeah, I mean, that's that's very, that's a lot of damage reduction. Yeah, that makes him kind of a good frontliner. True, for, general. for AR, I guess. AR defense. This could actually be a good unit if you're trying to build a stall team. Yeah. I mean, with that, like... Even if they have armor effectiveness, it doesn't matter that much. Yeah. And he comes with close defense four. Uh, crafty fighter. What's crafty fighter? I think it's um, guard. QR guard. Okay. So that's better for him than vengeful, probably, considering he wants to be like a tank. Yeah. Like, um, All right. I'm... Last defense yeah, was near save. This. What is this? Foe uses a melee weapon, basically. It initiates combat against a nearby ally. Triggers Savior on unit. Savior... Basically just takes the ally's combat for them, but also grants it... stats. Yeah, looks like it. And huh. the, only, the only thing is that you can't move onto terrain that you're not allowed to move onto. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Um, so basically that stops people from just like smiting in like their brave Edelgard and sniping a unit next to him because he'll take the hit instead? That that kind of idea? Is that what they're going with this? I think so. This could be a really interesting weapon skill in AR defense for sure. This is kind of making me glad that we don't get a spark on this banner. I do <laughs> not want to be seeing this skill very commonly. I also feel like this could be sort of fun for certain strategies in AR offense. Especially with like six person teams. AR offense? Oh, does this work on AR offense too? I guess it does, doesn't it? Yeah. I think that DR means defense res because it grants those stats during combat. I think you're right. I just I, I was just only thinking of it on yeah. ARD. I think the AR is going to be an attack res, which is a weird series of stats to get on this, but we'll see, I guess. Yeah. But like I can imagine this being um I can imagine it making gale force strategies really interesting if you like have a unit running this like behind two gale forcers so that then whoever's left doesn't hit them, you know? What do you mean? So if you have like, um, I don't know, two Gale Force units, let's call it, let's say it's Sheeta and Duopala, like, go in, kill four things, two things each, and then you like smite Gustav in to be like between them. Oh, wait, Whatever. I think you're, that would, yeah, that'd what? be really interesting. Yeah. Huh. I feel like that would be... Okay, personally, I find Gale Force strategies a little bit difficult to set up, so I'd find this even more difficult to set up, but I think if used optimally, that could be really, really interesting. It sounds super hard to set up, but it's, it'd be a huge flex to pull off on someone. I mean, this is cool, I guess. It's definitely really interesting. Yeah. It's fun that and they're introducing I... so many new effects. And the fact that they, this banner has two greens and two reds means it's going to be, like, pretty difficult. I guess, I guess. okay, apparently the odds are the same. Or wait, mm. is it, how are the odds for color sharing? I don't remember. Is it slightly worse, I think, to get, like, one specific unit? I think it's the same. I don't actually know. <laughs> okay. Uh, my point is, like, I don't think you're going to see too many people pulling specifically for this to run in, in AR or in any other game mode, but... It's very interesting. Yeah, that's true. I guess let's move on to Henriette. Let's check her out, yes. So she has an inheritable weapon. That weapon so doesn't look great. <laughs> I guess I it's it okay. Looks, I think it it's looks okay. really good. Does it? it... <sighs> um... I guess it's not terrible, it's... yeah, it's okay. It's probably the best inheritable enemy phase tome in the game. 
Yeah, anime phase. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Yeah, I like. I don't know. I'm. I'm sort of tempted to try and get a copy of Alphonse to just meme with like a miracle Luin build. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna use his own weapon. He it'd just got a refine. That's disrespectful. It'd be funny. Anyway, she, oh, she's got Slick Fighter. That's cool. That's a good. I skill. always forget what these new ones do. Slick Fighter neutralizes debuffs and QR. Oh, super QR. Okay. I which, guess that's that's fine. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's one of the more interesting ones for sure. So AR far save is basically like the near save, but against like ranged units instead and grants attack and res yeah so there are gonna be a lot of skills in this family huh because it's every stat combination for near and far oh no you're right <laughs> i'm not looking forward to that it's real. i think the far save is actually probably more valuable i i would agree i was just thinking yeah. that Although near save beats Gale Force, which is becoming more and more of an issue, at least in my life. I guess. I just... I, my Claude doesn't want to see this skill. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Claude can usually deal with things anyway. Wait, we'll so I'm curious. So let's say, like, you know, like, when you're about to attack a unit, it shows the preview where, like, how much damage you do to the unit and whatnot? Mm -hmm. So will it... If something like near save or far save comes into play... I wonder if they'll show you how much damage you would do to the unit with the save skill instead? I would hope so. I would really hope so, because otherwise that's, that'd be really difficult to try figuring out on your own. Imagine if the forecast says you win the combat and then you die. That sounds really yeah, bad. Yeah, that, that sounds really bad, so I really hope that they find a way to make this user-friendly for the people facing it. Yeah, I'm really... Hmm. I'm also really curious what her stat spread is going to be like, because there aren't many red tome armors in the game, are there? Are there any? There's Christmas Tharia, Tharja. I don't oh. know if there is another one. I forgot she exists. Um, yeah, probably just her then. How could you possibly forget? <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. Yeah, fair. I actually forget she exists a lot, too. <sighs> so... I have a feeling she's slow, just because of the way her base kit looks. Yeah, I guess Slick Fighter is not the... Although, I, sometimes they just give, like, really valuable skills that don't synergize with a kit to units like this. Yeah, but my, my see... guess would just be that she's slow and, and very tanky and pretty good attack. That's that's my guess. Yeah, that's a pretty fair, pretty fair bet. I think she's definitely going to have defenses with this kit. Yeah. So then she probably will not have the greatest speed. I guess armor BST nowadays is pretty high, so who knows. Yeah, she can do what she wants. She's a grown woman. <laughs> I guess let's move on to Alphonse. There's not much to say about him. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we've sort of... So what colors he get? Green? So this is a green tome? I think this is the second green tome armor in the game. I'm pretty sure about that. Who's the other one? I really Halloween don't Halloween Henry. Oh, okay. No wonder I forgot him, too. Um, yeah. I mean, that's nice. I mean, the fact that he's a four-star focus is also quite nice, too. Um, so people can merge him. It's really cool that they're making these four-star ranged armors now after they were so limited for so long. Yeah, no, it's really cool. It's, it's really good for people who want to build, like, a ranged armor for their arena team, too, I think. Because these guys reach, like, 180 BST, right? Nowadays. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Well, the 180 BST bin. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't need greens. I need blues. Yeah, I don't need greens either. Also, like, would you really want to, like, drop, like, 500 orbs on this banner? Especially <laughs> since there's color sharing. I mean, I guess Gustav is a decent pity breaker, but still. Actually, if you plus 10 Alphonse, you could make some really disgusting defense teams with all that, um, sea scale fodder from Gustav. Yeah. I don't want to think about it too much. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's get to the meat of it with the duo. Yeah. Okay. What does this What does this thing do? This is a little bit confusing. If unit is within three spaces of an ally, which is pretty easy to it's pretty easy to hit. Grants big stats during combat. 
unit guaranteed follow-up. Cuts down damage reduction skills. And deals 20 damage to nearest ally, just like the old leaf. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. I guess it's one way to get around damage reduction. It's kind of like a dead eye kind of vibe. It's, I mean, it's better than it would be if it was the same without that, for sure. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> the thing is, I feel like, like if you cut, to, if you cut damage reduction down to twenty percent, it doesn't really make much of a difference anymore. No, I guess it doesn't. I guess the max then would be twenty percent, right? For the for normal like close call skills. Yeah, and even like hitting Edelgard for a hundred percent, and then what, 60%? As a red mage is probably enough. And Ike. This yeah, could be hit, big against Brave Ike. Hit him for 80% and 60%? That's a lot better, because his res isn't that good, yeah. Yeah, that's that's significantly better. Ooh, Brave Ike is quaking. And they're <laughs> a red mage. I think this is... Th this seems like a distinctly anti-meta unit. Like... Yeah. This looks designed to be a hard counter to those two, and just by coincidence <laughs> is really good against most other things, too. I don't dislike it, I mean... I think it's neat, and I'm very yeah. interested in the C skill, too. Yeah. Okay, so they've got attack defense, push forward, lull attack res, they're like Brammy, and then the C skill. What? Foe cannot recover HP during or after combat? Oh wait, so this is actually this actually beats Claude, doesn't it? Oh, this is awful. <laughs> oh, and it's inheritable. Oh no. This is terrible. I hope I never run into this thing. I guess oh this gosh. is what Hector's for. But how does anyone get around this? Like like everyone, every tank out there wants to heal, right? But I guess there are some tanks who just take so little damage that it doesn't matter whether or not they're able to heal. I guess this is, this is just use Hector the unit. Yeah, this I feel like this disproportionately affects Brave Claude specifically. I don't like the fact that it's a smoke effect. Oh no. Yeah, that's kind of wild. But I guess this the, doesn't it, make me happy. <laughs> I feel like the fact that it's smoke doesn't really matter that much because it's like. Well, think about it on a cav line. Like okay, you bait, true. you bait the cav next to this leaf. Leaf goes first if he gets to attack someone your other person can't heal at all. I don't like this. It's a little spooky. We're gonna have to see what much what kind of a difference it makes. I... <sighs> hmm. I'm not enthused. I'm reserved. Oh, this unit seems tricky. This unit seems like uh, really hard to set up, a really high reward for doing it, I guess. Yeah, that's that's kind of what it seems like. Hmm. Well, I guess uh, <laughs> the Claude train had to stop somewhere. Oh, it's it's not stopping anytime soon. I don't expect to see this unit too frequently. Um, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, and I have to say I'm very glad to already have, like, my other carry is the hardest possible <laughs> counter to this unit, so <laughs> I'm feeling nice. True. Brave Hector? Yeah. Do you think this... Do you think Fatal Smoke also stops Mystic Boost? Because it kind of sounds like it. It should. It seems like it would. Mm. It's yeah, a, it, I don't it says know folk cannot recover one. HP during or after combat. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting. I'll give it that. And and this is, this is, like, I guess this is what HP smoke would look like, right? Like <laughs> we have attack smoke, defense smoke. This is HP smoke, kind of. So. I guess so. Savage blow, yeah. kind of. Yeah, but arguably better. This is definitely... This is damning to a tank. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, well, um, I guess we don't really know... Oh wait, we should look at their uh, skill first. Their duo skill. Oh, yeah, that's important. Yeah. Oh, and we have their stats. Oh, true. But it's about what you'd expect. Yeah, pretty much. Deals damage to foes within three spaces. Ten plus 
half the damage dealt to allies within three spaces. Oh, and uh, a monster debuff. To half of total damage dealt. So, so it adds up the total damage dealt to all allies within three spaces, and then adds half of that to the ten. Yeah, I think so. Okay, max damage forty. That's big. It's a big number. It is a big number. It's. I think it's not as good for like Kranya strats as a Duo Hector's skill, just because the range is a little. No, it's the, th the three spaces thing is harder to set up, yeah. But... Honestly, I feel like you could kind of... I feel like there's a way to run CC Vantage on this thing and use that duo skill, and it's really gross. Oh, yeah. Huh. <laughs> Fun. The stock of Duo's Hindrance just keeps going up every time we get a new one of these things. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It genuinely feels like a necessity now. I would really like to get this on a free summon, I can't lie. Mostly <laughs> just because the art's cool. I don't know what I'd do with yeah. them, but they're cool. Yeah. I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, for me personally, I I don't think I'm going to drop orbs on them. I'm saying that now and then I might get baited, but I'm <laughs> going to try and stay strong and not drop orbs on this and just hope I get lucky with the free summon. I think I might grab a few extra reds in addition to the tickets, just because I want to summon on the new summoning rules. It sounds fun. I want a four-star special so bad. Okay, yeah, that actually does sound really fun. Be so <laughs> and I can get Sword Heart! I can get oh, Brave Celica. Or this Leaf. Is, this is offensive. They're doing everything that they can to bait us, and it's working. It hasn't worked yet, but it probably will. <sighs> Okay, I mean, overall, there's some very interesting new things that were introduced on this banner. Um, I don't suspect they will become meta or commonplace or anything like that, especially since there's no spark. And there was like a, there was literally a spark on the winter banner, and I haven't seen odd recovery anywhere yet in AR. Hmm. So True. the fact that there's no spark on this banner, the fact that there's also color sharing, I don't expect these skills to be like widely available, but some of them sound kind of horrifying to run into onto a team like when you see this on a team in ARD yeah I'm definitely somewhat scared of some of these things but I also think they'll be kind of fun to learn how to play against if I do run into them and fundamentally I think I like the direction the game is progressing based on this banner much because for a while it just felt like everyone was getting like here have like 20 stats during combat and also like take away 20 stats from the enemy and that's just like not a fun direction of power creep but introducing new ideas and effects is way more interesting and interactive to me that i'll agree with the reason why i'm i'm annoyed is because some of these things seem specifically hard countered to me specifically <laughs> so that's why i'm annoyed but they are very interesting and and you're right it is it is it is cool what they're doing yeah I, this is just another Another tally mark on the things I liked about the direction the game's taking right now, I think. That's my review. We don't know anything about Veronica yet, so we can't really comment on her. But uh, I guess her weapon is going to be nice. Like you were saying for, like, Ileana, that's pretty solid as an enemy phase option for her. Yeah, and I think they showed her skills in the Fae channel, and it was, like, HP speed 2 and chill speed, plus the inheritable weapon, which we assume has the same effect, so... Yeah. She's, um, you know... <laughs> She's great fodder. Why do they keep doing this? So you don't feel as bad about giving the weapon and not being able to get level three of a good skill. <laughs> oh, here's my th here's my theory. My theory is that they're now just gonna slap semi decent skills on the four star focus, like actually good skills, and then because of that, to make up for it, they're just gonna give us trash on the free unit. That Aside does make from the sense. weapon, because the weapons have been quite good lately. Yeah. I'm happy that there's a probably good weapon on her, and there's a good three-star blue mage in the pool to merge up now, so that's fun synergy in my mind. Alright, so I think that's all from us today. Overall, I think this banner is very interesting. Um, the theme is cool, the art is gorgeous, and the skills are something that we really haven't seen before, so I think it's very cool. Um, so yeah, that's that's all we have to say. Um, you have anything else you want to say? Um, I'm still... 
As annoying as some of this looks, I'm still very optimistic about the game and the direction they seem to be taking in 2021, so I'm feeling good. Yeah, no, that Fae channel has left us all feeling very positive, I feel like, and this is a good continuation of that. So, uh, thank you so much for having me. It's nice to spread out the content a little bit more. Sorry I've been <laughs> hogging it. And, uh, I'll say goodbye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>